Hello? Hello? What? What do you want from me now? Nothing that taxing. Are you all right? Well, if you'd all stop, I might be just fine. Just a hundred percent. Just go! If you'd all stop, who are you talking about? All you, hundreds of you, talking and chattering and breaking my brain up. Hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure where you're coming from. But I just want to know about the Infada artifact. In the temple up there. <laughs> voodoo magic and all, huh? I don't touch the stuff myself. It's not voodoo. Look, is there anyone else here with you? Yeah, Randy and Rory. <laughs> Randy and Rory? Where? What are you all doing here? Well, they're staying put in that temple. I told them not to. I warned them first. Not doing much now, I doubt, under half a ton of mudslide. Me. I'm leaving. Next bus out. This jungle has rooted enough rot into me. I'd offer the same advice to you, but you don't seem like the type to take it. To care if I said you're gonna die in there. <laughs> yeah. Die.
Who are you working for? What? You heard me. I didn't. Honest. What did you say? I said, who employs you? Ah! Miss Sophia Lee! <laughs> Who's she? What does she do? I don't know. Really, I don't. I just shoot people for her. A commendable work ethic, I guess. <sighs> yeah. I put my hours into it. As my father did and his father did her for. Well, how old is this, Miss Lee? I don't know. Late twenties? Early thirties? Right. Yeah. For some people, like yourself, we get a special bonus. I'm flattered. I mean, I could even be retiring from you. Then you might like to mind. The bell. <laughs> Happy retirement. Crazy geek freak. What kind of stunt is that to pull? Let's take her in. <laughs> she don't look much like one of them. Maybe she's an eco terrorist or something. And they wear hot pants, huh? Not interrupting, am I? Not bleeding, are you? Not about to use this place as a dunny? No, and no. Good. Good. Just don't want any fly-carrying visitors in here. Right. I understand. What happened? Woke up in the jungle with one of those little blokes snacking on my leg, didn't I? A tribesman? It isn't usual for them to eat right off the bone like that. Well, it was dark, and I, I never got the bugger, so I can't be sure. Something spooky is in that jungle. Our air carrier crashed up in the mountains. Every night some of my men would vanish without trace. Others fled in fear. Then this happened. And I brought the men down to shore for safety. Only for us all to be captured by this greedy mob. Some sort of sacrifice to their god who lives up in the hills. Though it seems I've not been invited to the barbie. Maybe you're the dessert. Ripe flesh can be a bit of a delicacy around here. For real? 
Listen, we'd better get you out of here. Do you know how the tribe crossed the swamp down there? Which stones they tread on? Yeah, but uh, I'm staying put. With this wound, I'd be like a fill-up station to every diseased bug in the bush. I'd rather be the main course of the real feast. Hey, if you see any of my men alive in there, direct them to the North Shore, will you? Away from here. Of course. For you, me fast in this day. You make plenty good flesh pot. You forget. I might be quite hungry myself. Famished, actually. Uh. Why did your ancestors flee from Antarctica so suddenly? Oh. Kuma, Kuma, bad place. Plenty flesh. But for the price of evil, mutilation, the sixth leader, Mauki, were born without a face. Terrible storms. Men afraid, run! Set curse of Maoki on the land. No one good enough. But you still worship it? White fella later come here with magic Kuma Kuma stone. In a day, we celebrate the death of him, the Feast of Spy. One of Darwin's sailors, poor fool. Where's the stone now? <laughs> He lucky fella that kill you. A plenty merry like you. I'll be sure to point that out to him.
Thank you.